Assalamu alaikum. So here I'll give you some tips to how to become a good programmer. Well, the first one, write as much code as possible. Yes, you heard me right. You have to write a lot of code. I mean, start writing, don't wait, don't delay, okay? Especially if you're a new programmer or if you're new to programming, you have to start it immediately, okay? Basically, when I was a new programmer, started many years ago, I used to write code every day and I still do that. But Writing code was the priority. It was number one thing in my daily life, early in the morning, and even before going to bed, I used to write some code. Okay, so writing code is the first thing, and as you write more, and you write more and more code, it will help you to solve the problems. You see a problem, you might not have the solution for it, but as you keep writing, you will have the solution. And at the same time, you have to remember one thing. A lot of time, your first solution is not the perfect one. So go for a second solution. That might be better because in first solution, you might have missed some um, other issues. You didn't address some issues or forget about some other requirements. So go ahead and review and try to go for a second and a third solution. You'll see that your code gets better and more beautiful. It, Okay, here is my second tip. This is about reading books. Well, reading books are always good. You, can, you should read as many books as possible because it increases our knowledge. But when it comes to reading books about code, you should read books about how to write clean code. Writing code and writing clean code, there is a significant difference, okay? A huge difference. So you have to be able to learn how to write clean code. But it doesn't come that easily. You have to practice as well as you have to read codes and as well as, as well as you have to know the rules and regulations and the, the way you should write clean code. So for that reason, I would suggest you to read books. Okay, read books about how to write clean code. Now here are two of my favorite books. One is called Clean Code by Uncle Bob. And there's another book that is called Effective Java. And I found these two books are really helpful and which help me a lot to organize my code. Um, well, for new programmers, if you're a beginner, if you're a beginner, it's it's very common to write a messy code because a lot of time beginners they just look for solutions and as you look for solutions you get solutions from a lot of different places and you put them together and your code is not re your code is not clean. So yeah, so as you keep as you keep coding, try to read about clean codes. Of course, you can read blogs about clean codes and that works as well. So that should be your second priority after coding as much as possible. Go ahead and read code. Go ahead and read books about clean code. Now, here is my third tip, and this is about practicing or learning data structures, algorithms, and system design. And the good programmers I have met so far or I have seen, they were all really good at uh, data structures, system designs, and algorithms. And if you really want to work for a big company, Fortune 5 companies, they might have an interview, and those interviews a lot of time end up solving problems like data structures or algorithm. So if you want to land a good job, if you want to be a very good programmer, it, it's really important, even if it, it doesn't have to do anything with your next job, but it helps you with problem solving because it cleans up your brain, it gives you ideas how to solve problems, how to focus on things, and how to find problems as well. So go ahead and learn data structures, algorithms, and system designs. My next tip is about reading code. Yes, you have to read good codes because at the beginning when you start coding or programming, your code might not be that good and most of the time it happens, it won't be that quality code. So to take your code to the next level, you have to read the code of other programmers and there are tons of resources. For example, you can download Java SDK, Dart SDK or open source framework like Python or even like Laravel. So go ahead and download them and read the code. And uh, you, you, as you read more and more, you'll develop a good sense of code. So next time when you start writing your own code, you will see that you are naturally following the pattern of writing good code, and which is very important at the end. My next tip is about writing unit test, yes. So unit test is a lot of time left for expert programmers, but I would suggest to the new programmers, go ahead and try to write unit test. Why? Because unit test would make you a great problem solver. With unit test, you start to develop something that starts to work from the beginning. If you don't write unit test, you'll find that your app, website, or program works in some places, it doesn't work in other places. Yes, definitely it's one of the best way to make sure that your code works everywhere and saves a lot of time for debugging. 